Madeline was diagnosed with a profound hearing loss in the right ear and a severe to profound hearing loss in the left ear at one month of age. She was then fitted with hearing aids at two months of age. Subsequently, at 25 months of age, she was changed over to the latest Fornac Naida hearing aids. Um, these hearing aids had FM integrated receivers in them and the family was allocated with uh, Phonax uh, FM technology. They have been making regular use of this technology since then and she is now 34 months of age. She's been using the FM since December 2009, which is seven, eight months. A regular example of using the FM would be down at the stables. Um, obviously we, we use it in the car to get there as well and then we use it when we're outside at the stables, maybe out horse riding um, when she's got a hat on. So obviously it's blocking a slight blockage from the microphone on the top of the hearing aid. Um, just anything, anything that's outside really is really, really useful. The concept of an FM system is very simple. Um, it's a very basic system where you have an FM transmitter and an FM receiver which is um, linked to the hearing aid. So when the person who speaks through the transmitter microphone speaks, their voice is directly sent across radio frequency into the child's hearing aid through the receiver they're wearing. Also commonly, uh, FM transmitters are known as radio aids because of the way that they're using the radio frequency. You can really notice the difference. Um, I feel less confident using, not using the FM system um, because you've not got the range. You know, you, you can, when, you, when you've got the FM system on, she can get obviously quite away from you and you can just speak in a normal voice, Madeline, and she'll turn around instantly. Whereas if she's not got the FM, you have to shout louder or she just, you know, she just sometimes doesn't even respond to you at all, depending on how far away she is. The clarity for her, I would say, is much better with the FM on. A good example is definitely shopping, because we've obviously we've been doing another study using the FM, and then in the same situation without the FM. Massive, massive difference. Again, it's just the response time. Um, of especially having the two, the, the non, you know, the non-hearing aid user child and obviously Madeline with the hearing aids. When you've got the FM system on, it's just like she's a normal hearing child as, re you know, as regards to her turning around and looking at you. And then when we did the study without, because again, of all the hard services, it's such a lot going on, the hustle and bustle, everybody talking, there's just no response from her at all or very little response. So massive, massive difference again. Um, in the car, I know I've been told from audiologists when she's in the car, all she can hear is the, the, the drone of the engine really. Um, what I've noticed using the FM in the car, she's more responsive. She'll join in with nursery rhymes when we have it on in the car. Um, if I'm in the passenger seat, I can just shout her and she'll look at me through the, the passenger mirror and wave to me. Whereas if she's not got it on, she doesn't, she just doesn't listen because all she can hear is the zzzz from the engine. Um, it, so it's just, obviously it's better for her. She can join in, she can listen to, to whatever that's on the radio or the conversation that you can have with her. So really, really useful yet again. Very, very simple to use. Um, you basically, we charge it up every night. In the morning, when we, or whenever we turn it on to use it, we do um, the checks, we do a sound check by um, getting the smiley face, making sure you've got a smiley face. So we do that every day. Get one, they're really, really good, really useful. Um, nursery all commented on how useful it's been to them. I found it brilliant when it was winter time and they had the hoods on and the hats on. It's just really, really, really useful and I would say to anybody, get one. <laughs>